In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most profitable blog niches to start your blog in in 2020. My name is Greg and on this YouTube channel, I publish regular videos dedicated to blogging, traffic and affiliate marketing. So if you're not yet a subscriber, hit subscribe just below and enable all notifications. Today's video is one of many videos that I have published on various profitable blog niches. So if you want to see all of my videos, then click the link in the top right of the screen or just link in the description below after you finish watching this video to see all the other niches that I have covered over the past several months. Now today's niche is men's grooming and men's beard care. It's a niche that is completely underserved and there is a lot of potential, there is a lot of interest in this niche and you can make a lot of money as a blogger in this niche as well. So we're going to be using this website here as a case study today and it's called baldingbeards.com. I'm going to walk you through this website in a little bit more detail later on in this video. First of all, what I wanted to show you is some of the stats of this website. So I'm here inside the Ahrefs tool and we're looking at this domain baldingbeards.com. So this website is only a few years old. You can see that they really only started growing around 2016. So they've made amazing progress in the last four years. And you can see that they're currently ranking for almost 300,000 organic keywords. And according to Ahrefs, their traffic is about 245,000 visitors per day. Now we know that Ahrefs traffic is a little bit on the lower side. Most likely their traffic is about, about double or triple of this amount. So I would say they're getting uh, probably close to 20 to 30,000 page views per day. That would be my guess. Stick with me throughout this video because I'm going to walk you through exactly how this website makes money and how you can start a profitable blog in this same niche as well, in the men's grooming niche. First of all, let's look at some of the categories of information that this website covers. If we look at the drop down links here, we can see that they talk about the problems of balding, they look at beards, and they also look at grooming. So there are sort of three sub niches, even though the website is called balding beards, they also talk about in general, just men's grooming as well. And the way that this website is monetized is in two main ways. So first of all, you will notice as you're scrolling through the website, you'll notice that on the right hand side here, there are ads. There is also a big ad here at the bottom and there are ads as we go through the actual post, there are more ads that end up being loaded throughout the post. For example, you can see here, I was looking at some microphones earlier and I am now seeing a Mediavine ad for a, a microphone stand. So this tells me that this website is currently registered with Mediavine, which is kind of similar to Google AdSense. Essentially what happens is once you uh, have got a website that is receiving regular traffic, you can register with Mediavine, with AdThrive or with Google AdSense and you can just insert one line of code into your website and these ads start automatically showing on all of your posts and you get paid for each of the ads either shown or clicked. The revenue for this in my experience can be quite good depending on the niche and of course this niche of balding hair, of uh, personal grooming and beards is actually quite a profitable niche because a lot of people who are searching for information in these niches, they are desperate for some kind of a solution to a problem that they've got. So in my experience, this kind of niche can play, pay anywhere from 20 to $30 US per 1000 views. As we know, this website gets about 500,000 page views per month, possibly more, but let's just stick to the conservative amount. And if we divide this by 1000 and multiply that by $20 per 1000 page views, we can see that this website probably makes approximately 10,000 per month in just ad revenue alone. Now I am being a little bit conservative here. Of course, there are a few assumptions that could be a little bit more, a little bit less, but that is approximate amount if I was to give you my best guess. Now this is pretty awesome because all of this is completely passive. People just type various things into Google search. They come uh, on this website and they start clicking ads. So this is completely hands-free, okay? The second thing, the second way that this website actually makes money is through affiliate links. You will notice that on a lot of their posts, there are various affiliate links such as this one here. So this is a post about biotin supplements and you will also see that here they've got all the supplements listed and there is a button here, check on Amazon. So these are all affiliate links. If somebody clicks on one of these buttons and buy something from Amazon, this website will make really good money 
from the person buying something on Amazon. Now, Amazon only pays a couple of percent, but don't forget that if somebody you know, clicks on this buy a TV and they only cost maybe 20 bucks, but they also buy a TV or a computer from Amazon, then this website, baldingbeards.com, will get paid on the whole amount of the purchase, all right, including that $1,000 TV or stereo as well. Now let's take a look at exactly how this website actually gets the traffic and how, why uh, this niche is so profitable and so good for blogging. So let's take a look at the actual keywords that this website is currently ranking for. All right, we can see here are the 217,000 different keywords that this website is ranking for and it's buying keywords. So people who type this stuff into Google, they are ready to buy. They've got their wallet open. They want to just buy something. So it would be quite easy for this website to convert these searches into affiliate clicks and into affiliate commissions. Have a look at this best face wash for men. Keyword difficulty is just six. There are 3,200 searches per month and this website is ranking as position number one. So let's take a look at how this works from the visitor perspective. Let's say I'm a person who is interested in the best face wash for men. So I will type that into Google and the first result that you'll notice comes up is this prim and prep. Now I am on the Australian version of Google. So that's why probably this website Balding Beards is actually number four. But for the US, we know that they're coming up as number one. Okay, now if I am clicking on this website, Balding Beards, all right, I'm gonna be taken to a guide that looks like this eight best face washes and cleansers for men for all skin types. And each one of them includes a little bit of information about each of these products. Okay, so here we've got that Jack Blue Pure Clean Daily Facial Cleanser. There's pros and cons, there's a second one, there's a third one. And notice this, below each one is a link and this is an affiliate link. If somebody clicks this link, okay, as they've read the review, they click this link and they end up buying anything from Amazon. The person who owns baldingbeards.com will get credited a commission. So this is very, very powerful. Imagine ranking for dozens, for hundreds, for thousands of these types of keywords where people are actually wanting to buy a best face wash. You know, they will land on your site, okay, and as they're reading through these, they will most likely end up buying one of these eight things that you recommend because Amazon does have a really good price. So conversion of people who are visiting into sales is going to be very, very high. It's a lot higher than just a purely informational uh, keyword such as is there life on Mars? You know, like you can't monetize a person who is searching for is there life on Mars, but person who is searching for best face washes for men is ready to buy and is very easy to convert into sales. Now, the cool thing here is that we can actually narrow this down. So let's put in keyword difficulty maximum five, and that will dramatically cut down the amount of keywords. So uh, well, actually, we still have 60,000, 63,000 different keywords that are extremely easy to rank for that this website is currently getting visitors for. And again, look at how targeted these keywords actually are. Best combs for men, okay? Only 200 searches, fair enough, but 200 searches can still get you hundreds of visitors per day. For example, one of my articles on travelcroc.com is ranking as the number one spot uh, and that keyword is only supposed to be getting 150 searches per month, okay? But I get over 100 visitors per month just from that one keyword. Any, any keyword that has got at least 100 or 200 searches, I still highly recommend that you guys go for. Do not overlook keywords with seemingly low volume. But all of these keywords, look at this best hair clay, okay? They're ranking for all of these. And these are all prime keywords because people who are searching for these kind of keywords, they're going to be wanting to buy something. So it's an extremely profitable blog niche. So if I was starting a brand new blog today and I was looking for the most profitable niche for my blog, I would seriously consider the men's grooming and beards niche simply because there is so much money that you can make by ranking for these keywords that already have a very high buyer intent. And I would start a blog similar to this. I would register a domain that is similar to uh, balding beards or something that's got to do with beards or men's grooming. It's a niche that's underserved. You know, there are not a lot of uh, blogs in this niche. It's uh, kind of not a well-known niche. A lot of people start blogs in the fitness niche or in the running niche, gaming niche. 
but men's grooming is really, really popular. And of course, beards are now making a comeback. So this is a really hot, uh, and uh, this niche is in high demand. Then what I would do is I would fire up Ahrefs and I would look at some of these websites that are ranking in this niche, such as Balding Beards. I would apply very low keyword difficulty and I would start publishing articles on each of these keywords. Now, what I would actually do is for each of these keywords when I'm preparing my article, and that's very important, is to make sure that your article is longer than all other articles that are currently ranking on page one. So here is how I would do that. For example, let's say I was writing an article for best beard shampoo. Okay, best beard shampoo, really good keyword. I would open up Ahrefs and I would take a look at what kind of articles are published on each of these websites. I would actually count how long they are. So if we open each of them up in a new tab, you can just literally count the words. And to do that, you can install, uh, you can just copy and paste it into Microsoft Word, or you can copy and use this extension called Word Count. That's a Chrome extension, and it will tell you. So this one has got 4,163 words, okay? So it's a bit long, uh, but I would count the words in all of these other articles. And if most articles are 500 or 1,000 words, then that's a great keyword. If all of these articles that are right here right now uh, are long, like 4,000 words or more, then I probably would not go for it. I would find a keyword where eight out of 10 results are short. So, and by short, I mean 1,000 words or less. Okay, and then I would publish an article that's two or 3,000 words long because that would actually give my blog a, an excellent chance of ranking on page one. Even if your blog is, is brand new right now, it's actually possible to rank and outrank all these existing websites if your content is much more in depth and much longer than all the other content on page one. After you've got some traffic coming into your blog, then you should apply for a Google AdSense account so that you can start monetizing your content and you can start uh, displaying ads similar to what you can see here. See this ad at the bottom, ad on the right hand side, ads throughout the articles. And also for each of these articles that you prepare, I would suggest that you insert affiliate links to Amazon products. So you should go to amazon.com associates program and sign up with your website. Once you've got that built, you will most likely get accepted as long as your website is, you know, doesn't have any errors and is looking okay. And then start publishing articles and start including Amazon affiliate links in your articles. For example, this one, best beard grooming kits for men. Okay. And then you can see here are all these Amazon links. So I would just start copying what other websites in the niche are doing. With 63,000 different keywords that are easy with keyword difficulty less than five, you will never run out of ideas for what kind of content to post. Now, the cool thing is that, of course, these 63,000 keywords are just from this one domain. You can also reverse analyze all of the other domains that you see for these keywords. For example, we searched for this best face wash for men. You can then go through each of these domains, like Prim and, and Prep, GQ Magazine, Man of Many, Balding Beards, Tools of Men. All of these websites will give you thousands and thousands of super easy to rank for keywords, which are profitable. So you will have lots of ideas and you will never run out of article ideas for your website in this niche. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below and tell me that you like this video, what other kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Also watch these two videos above. I think you love them. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.